Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name's Matt. Today, let's take a look at the uh, easier cap UVC. Just to make things more confusing, there's there is a easy cap with a Z, so easy cap. Then there's easy cap E A S Y cap, and then there's the easier cap. I'm not a real fan of all these names. It kind of reminds me of Abbott and Costello with the uh, who's on first, what's on second joke. So the easier cap um, might be a bit hard to find. Last time I think I got this from Dills Extreme or DX.com, whatever they call themselves now. And I don't think they sell it anymore. Uh, you might be able to get it on eBay. I don't think you can get it on Amazon, but certainly if you're looking for something as cheap as this, uh, there's certainly alternatives. But this particular model is um, the UVC. So what do you get with the easier cap UVC? Well, you get the software, you get an extension USB cable and the device itself. So let's just take a closer look. So it's just USB 2.0 plugs into PC. The other end you've got the composite. So you've got composite with left and right speakers and the S video. I'll just let you know that there is a website, I'll leave a link to it, that actually had um, drivers for people that were having issues. Even in the comments section of this website, a lot of people were finding uh, extra drivers that would work, that would make this device compatible with their computers. That being said, I just find it funny that, as you'll see in this video, it works without a hiccup and all I did was just plug it in and let Windows uh, install the driver. It takes roughly about two minutes. Uh, this next lot of videos uh, will probably just be a bit of a voiceover going over the actual editors. So got it going from the composite out into the easier cap just via composite. Uh, this next a lot of scenes, I just want to point out, I haven't installed the software, I just wanted to see if it works straight away with OBS Studios. So I've just gone into Add, Add Capture Device. Couldn't make up my mind, so I gave it a name, which obviously easier cap. And selected the driver, which is the AV to USB, and it found it straight away. This is without having to search the internet for more drivers just to see if it's compatible. So that's with OBS Studio. I was just testing the video quality. Of course, the video I had to use as a sample was a pile of crap. So now we're into Magix. And it saw it as well, again, with the same driver, the AV to USB. I could be saying that wrong. So... You can change the edit options. Uh, now we're going into VHS to DVD3, which is the Honest Tech software. Their software, uh, I don't really like it. You've got basic sort of capture, which is on MPEG. Uh, you can edit it uh, once you've completed, and you can burn it to a Decide DVD. Decide to record the original Metal Gear Solid. That was supposed to be a joke somewhere in there. But now we're going to you see samples. This is from Composite. Just to see like this tiny 10, 20 second opening. I just wanted to see what the difference would look like. So we've got Composite. I've got to say the quality isn't that great. So now I'm actually connecting the S video into the easier cap. Tight fit. You now have the option to terminate and be cremated on the So visually it still probably like doesn't look any better but the duty it, it doesn't help when YouTube probably compresses it, but I have to say there was there was a difference in the picture quality. Hold it. It can't show it here for some reason. Okay, um uh, just to let you know, the device can work with a USB, uh, a USB connector to mini USB, sorry, 
micro USB, get it right. So a USB connector that allows for Android phones to be able to read uh, the video. So I'll put that down for a sec. So as you can see the lights generated so it's getting power um, and it's just via the composite cables. You're not going to be able to obviously do S, S video. Uh, the program that I'm using on this, sorry about the the angle but yeah this is just called USB camera I think I bought it from the Play Store for about eight bucks the reason why I'm showing this is because what you'll find is that a lot of people don't have uh, computers they all just got tablets or high-end phones and a lot of free editors or editors that come with you know adverts and stuff like that they um, are all available on the phones so you could, for instance, copy over all your old videos, or home videos preferably, um, and then chop it away and edit it on the phone and re-save it as a new file. Okay, so that's the Easier Cap UVC. Um, do I think it's a good purchase? It's not a bad purchase. The software isn't great, and you may have issues when it comes to installing on your computer. 10 bucks, that's basically what they're worth. You get what you pay for. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up and click subscribe because there'll be more videos like this. See ya.